Okay guys, so today we are going to declutter my mascaras. Why did I say mascaras? There's literally no mascara. We're going to be decluttering my powders, my face powders, and my concealers. Um, I don't know how well I'm gonna do on the concealers because although this looks pretty full, I like all the concealers that are in there and plan on using them, but we can still check it out and see. And we'll go through the powders because I'm honestly not even sure what I have in there. So let's see, let's start with the powders first. Okay guys, so here are all of my powders. I don't use a ton of face powders powder and I have a lot of those um, contour palettes and I like those powders as well. So I definitely think I can get rid of maybe one or two of these. This is the one I use every day. This is my Laura Mercier Silk Translucent Powder that I use with my damp beauty sponge. It is fabulous. It's pricey. I want to try the flower brand one that's by Drew Barrymore that's sold at Walmart because I've heard that it's pretty good and pretty comparable. So once this runs out I might try that one. But as far as translucent powders go this is my favorite at the moment. Okay this my mom gave me and it's not my shoe. Shade. This is in the shade medium. It only comes in three colors, but for some reason it works Like if I don't go too heavy with it, it works as you can see It's not that dark or anything. So I'm I've been keeping it I am kind of self-conscious to use it because it is dark Ugh, See I just swatched it on my hand. and It looks a little dark. I don't know though like I I just really want this to work <laughs> I don't know if I should keep it or not. I just really want it to work because I want like the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but now as I'm swatching it, it's like, oh, that's way too dark for me. Ugh, okay, I'm gonna pass it on. I'm gonna sell this because I, you're, I just can't use it. And I don't use it because I'm afraid of it. So I'm passing that on. Okay, didn't think I'd get rid of that one. I do wanna keep my NYX Stay Matte, but not flat. I've heard good things about it. It's a powder foundation. I have the shade too nude and I to be honest I haven't actually tried it but this is much more of my shade and I want to give it a shot so I'm gonna keep that. I used to really like my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I have the little kabuki brush to go with and I used to love using this. I want to try it again. I loved the color match. I have the color Fair Honey. It says Fair Skin with Peach Undertones which is me. I tend to pull a little peach or like yellowish but I definitely want to keep this because I really liked it. I just never reach for powder. I used to. I used to only wear powder but now I'm in like a foundation phase but I need to check this out. I need to try it again. This I know I do not like, which stinks because I love Ofra. This is the Pressed Powder Oil Control, and it's kind of like a white translucent powder, but it really comes off white on your face, so it's just like, nope, not available for that, so I'm passing that on. I do love my Besame Violet Powder. It's kind of along the same lines as a translucent powder. It pulls a little bit like violet or lavender, but it doesn't do that on your face. But most importantly, it smells like violet or lavender or whatever it's supposed to smell like. It smells really good, and I do want to use through this because I like it. And these two um, loose powders left. I'm gonna keep the Tarte one. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator. I've used this before and I know I like it. So I'm gonna keep this. It's also a great travel site for all my travels. But I think I'm gonna pass on this Your Minerals Sweden Transparent Veil just because I have a lot of powders and I have never reached for it and I can pass it on to another home, so I'm going to. Okay, so not bad. This is what I'm keeping. And then I'm getting rid of three, which is more than I thought I was going to. So I'm excited about that. But now into the concealer. Okay, so here are all my concealers laid out. I don't have a ton. I kind of have like a lot of the same brands, but in different colors, which I you know that doesn't make sense. But I am definitely keeping my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this. I have the shade 50. Yes, 15. I love this for underneath my eyes. I'm almost out of it So I'm gonna finish that up and probably repurchase it after I use up some other concealers And then I love my Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Concealer. I have the color Fair Neutral. I freaking love this. It really is weightless So I'm keeping that and then I'm definitely gonna keep my two color correcting fluids I have the purple one or lavender and the green which to be honest I haven't played with these too much because I'm scared of them. I need to look up how to properly use them. But um, Beautypedia gave them an, like a five out of five rating and I've heard nothing but great things. I know how to use the green one. It's just the purple one I have no idea how to use. I think I just bought it because it was purple and pretty, but I definitely want to play with these more. So I am going to keep them. Now these are not concealers, but I have them in here anyway. This is the Benefit Air Patrol. This is kind of like a BB cream for your eyes for underneath your eye makeup. I've never tried this, but I definitely want to. So I'm going to keep it. And I'm actually going to put this in my like eye area in my skincare drawer because it's not a concealer at all. This is the Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffiness. So this would be nice to like use in the mornings or something. And it's so cute because the little thing on the end is a um, 
like a flat iron, like an iron, you know, like an ironing, you know, like when you iron your clothes. Okay. So I am going to keep this, but I'm going to move it to a different location because I want to use that like tomorrow. So then we have my favorite spot concealer. This is the NYX Incredible Waterproof Concealer. I never know if this is discontinued or not. I think it might be because I bought a lot of them. I think I have one more of these in my everyday makeup drawer or like on my table right now. I'm not sure, but this is a backup. So I'm keeping that. I'm in the color, um, what color am I in? Porcelain, I believe. Yeah, I'm in the color porcelain, but then I also have these unopened green and lavender ones which I also bought yeah, just because I'm gonna keep the green one but I'm gonna pass on the lavender because I don't even know what lavender concealer does I've never opened this and it can go to a new home so I'm passing this one on and then left are my nude sticks which I freaking love all of these do different things this one is a concealer I actually have another one of these I believe in the shade darker and I keep it in my purse at all times which I guess I should have got for this video but it's not going anywhere anyway so it's okay but I am gonna keep this one as well it's a little bit lighter but it's nice for like highlighting underneath the brow bone or just anything because it's just the best formula it doesn't crease doesn't need to be set with powder can be reapplied they're just the best I love nude sticks you guys know that then these pencils all do different things this is the matte and blemish pencil so you're supposed to put it over your blemishes before you put on any more concealer or anything like that it's just supposed to kind of help it smooth out and keep it I haven't tried this a whole bunch but I definitely want to so I'm keeping that this one is called the cleanup pencil I haven't tried this one so much either I think you can use it to like clean up your your eyeliner or your eyeshadow or just kind of anything around your lips so this would be really good for so I'm definitely gonna keep that it's just kind of like a clear pencil it kind of feels like a Vaseline type deal so it probably just like helps you know slip it away this one is called the blur pencil it's supposed to like fill in your pores and just you know kind of blur out your skin to make it look flawless and even and everything so i'm definitely going to keep that and play with that and then this one is the moisture pencil which is supposed to bring moisture to dry areas so if you're having like a dry spot or a scabby zit that's healing this would be good for that so i'm gonna keep that <laughs> okay so that one wasn't as good i'm literally keeping everything and just passing on one but i told you that that might happen but that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more declutters click up there in the corner to see more and uh yeah i love you guys i hope you're having a great day i'll see you next time and i'll talk to you then bye